Okay, we're going to focus on simplifying expression D. Root 175 minus root 28 all over root 63. Well, um, we'll look at it using method 1 and method 2. Under method 1, we see that uh, a perfect square of 25 divides evenly into 175, meaning that root 175 is root 25 root 7, or in other words, 5 root 7. We can look at the next uh, irrational term, root 28, and realize that uh, a perfect square of 4 divides evenly into 28, meaning that root 28 is root 4 times root 7, which is 2 root 7. And finally, in the third line, we see that root 63 is equal to root 9 times root 7. Root 9 is a perfect square, so that's 3 root 7. Or alternatively, we can look at each one of the irrational uh, terms and look at the uh, factor inside of the uh, square root symbol. 175 uh, has prime factors of 5, 5, and 7, meaning that the square root of 175 is 5 root 7, because the 5 appears twice, meaning it comes outside the square root symbol, and the 7 appears once, meaning it remains inside. 28 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7, uh, so root 28 is 2 root 7 because the 2 comes outside and the 7 stays inside. Finally, uh, 63 is equal to 3 times 3 times 7. Uh, so root 63 is 3 root 7. The 3 appears twice in the prime uh, factor decomposition, so it comes outside the uh, square root sign and the 7 appears once, so it remains inside. Either way, uh, whether we use method 1 or method 2, we come to the realization that root 175 minus root 28 over root 63 is like saying 5 root 7 minus 2 root 7 over 3 root 7. Well, that numerator simplifies. There are, those are like terms, and what we have in the numerator is 3 root 7, and the denominator is 3 root 7. So whenever we have a fraction where the numerator and denominator are equal, so long as uh, we're not talking about 0 over 0, which is undefined, uh, we ultimately end up with a value of 1. And that's our final answer.